What's up everyone, it's Anthrop here and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit different. No, it is not an opening, but I thought it's it's been long due course for me to finally do a how to sort out your Pokemon collection video. I've been asked quite a lot how I sort out my Pokemon cards, so I'm going to share with you all my tips and secrets. Yes, secrets, everything, the whole download on what I do. So forget everything you already know about card collecting. Yeah, forget about that video you watch or, or that one. We, 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 no, we don't, we don't need those, just forget them all and pay attention. First of all, you're going to need empty tins of Pokemon cards. I definitely recommend getting at least five, depending on how many Pokemon cards you've got and how much you want to sort them out. I'll explain in a bit. Second of all, you're going to need some masking tape. Oh, I wonder what that's for. <laughs> and thirdly, you're going to need this, a marker, a nice clear marker, dark. And yes, we're going to be writing stuff on the mask and tape. Oh, these secrets are coming out now. <laughs> and last of all, you're gonna need your Pokemon cards and a lot of them. So since all my cards are already sorted, oh my God. <laughs> Let's try that again. So basically I have already sorted out all of my Pokemon cards and I asked my friend, yo, have you got any Pokemon cards you need sorted? And she was like, I've got a lot. <laughs> she just sent me everything. She has. She sent me in the whole box and we're gonna just start from fresh. Why why sort out cards that are already sorted? So let's take a look what's inside this box. Hopefully, hopefully it's just tons of stuff, all, all different things so I can just show you. And this is quite hard to do. Maybe I should open up the scissors and put down the camera. God, there was so much tape. Let's take a look what's inside. Oh lots of paper, yummy, good. Protect your cards. It's good to protect your cards. Oh my god. Oh, you've got so many tins. Yes, that's exactly what we need. Tins, Japanese boxes, cards are leaking out everywhere. So we'll, we'll, we'll try and sort this out. We'll put it all on camera. So at first we've got a stuffed Mewtwo tin. We're gonna try and just decipher what's exactly in there. We've got some Japanese cards. We've got English cards. We've got old school cards. And there's English cards too. So as you can see, we've got a reverse Pikachu from Hidden Fates there. There's, there's a lot of stuff and you're probably wondering how am I going to sort this all out? Well, the first things first is you want to just get rid of all your Japanese cards. All the Japanese cards, if you do have Japanese cards, just completely separate them. Thank you for making my life easy, friend. <laughs> I mean, harder. Oh no, I was being sarcastic. Yeah, thanks for making it easy. Sarcasm. So if you've got Japanese cards, put them all to one side. We don't need to deal with them right now. We can deal with them later for those who do collect Japanese cards. But as you can see, we've got a reverse feature from Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates is a side set. Personally, I put all my side set cards together. So uh, all the energy, they also they get chucked away into their own separate pile. Energies. They're worthless. You don't, you know, like a hundred of them sell for maybe like two pounds. So they're not, they're, they're pretty worthless. But all these hidden fate cards, you know, if they're hidden fates by the set symbols, some people organize cards set by set. I personally don't. But for side sets, side sets tend to go for a little bit more in bulk rate. So if you're planning to sell all your cards, they, they tend to go for a bit more. So even the reverses, I put them all together in the same pile. So we've got more hidden fates, we've got a Mew. Reverses are great. We're going to get into reverses uh, very soon. Same with supporters. So you can either keep these all in the same set. You can put all these in one tin. Or what I do is I separate my supporters, my everything. I separate the, the supporters. So supporters are the orange cards. Uh, we've got the stadiums. And then we put those in their own respective pile. So I put all my supporters in one pile, in one tin. I separate the items, the supporters, and the stadiums. But you can actually take this one step further. Uh, we're going to put the energy to the side. What you can also do um, is some supporters aren't actually that great. So most of these aren't playable. So I do separate my playable ones like Cynthia Guzma from the old format. All the good supporters from the bad supporters and I have them in different tins. So once again, uh, Psychic Energy over there. We put this as a playable one. So we put that in a different pile. And these are all hidden fake cards, which you can tell from the symbol. So once again, you can separate all these however you want into their own sets or anything, however you want. 
But what I do do is I do separate the uncommons and commons from the rare cards. So if we can see any, wow, God, you have so much stuff. These, these are all Japanese cards. We're going to put these to the side. Let's try and find an example from the box. I think there's a nice tin of rare stuff here. There is a nice tin of rare stuff. So I think what my friend has already done is actually separated all the reverse cards, all the rare cards, because I think I have told her to do this before. We've got all the hollows. Once again, Japanese cards on the side. Oh, look. Look who it is, guys! I swear, if you say me. <laughs> um, we just put all these Japanese cards to the side. So we got our reverse cards. There's a difference. To me, there's a difference between reverse and reverse rare. Oh, that's not a rare card. That's a reverse common. We put our reverses on the side. All reverse common and uncommon to the side. And that's another uncommon. Can we find a reverse rare? Yes, we can. Uh, Tyranitar, there we go, perfect example. It's a reverse rare card. Reverse rares are reverse holo, not the holofoil of the card itself. We put that into its own pile. And if there are any holofoil cards, like we've got a Genesect here, we'll take it out the sleeve. You won't come out the sleeve, bounce in me. Um, we will also put the hollows on its separate pile as well. So we'll have three piles, all for different, all different meanings. And look, she went to Japan, that's from Mandraki, for those who watch. Japan videos, you'll know that is from Mandraki. So once again, to the side, be gone, Japanese card. So we're gonna be putting, oh, you can't really see. I just, I just, I just totally realized you couldn't see a thing there. So we've been putting all our reverse commons and non-commons in one pile, our reverse rares in another pile, and our holo cards, as you can see, it is a holo card, even if it's from black and white, which I'll get to in a second, we'll put it in another pile. So we've got our Hollows, reverses, well our reverse rares and our reverse commons and uncommons. So we've got three separate piles and you're going to need a tin for each of these piles. So like I said at the beginning, you'll probably want five tins, you're probably going to want a lot more tins. Also, speaking of black and white, but bringing it back to what I was saying before, what I do is I put all my black and white cards together, all the bulk, everything, once I've sorted everything out, I put the black and white cards separate to X and Y, to Sun and Moon. So all the black and white hollows are together, all the sun and moon uh, reverse hollows are together, they're all separate because sometimes the older sets do sell for more so it's better to just have them all separate. So depending on how deep you want to get into it, um, then wow I've got so many cards, then that's just your own preference. Some people just put all the common and uncommons together, all the rares together, all the trainers together, not even separating the items and supporters and then that's it. As you can see she's got a beautiful Hitmonchan from Evolutions. Evolutions sell for that little bit more than a, a regular Caterpie common or something. So I do separate my Evolution set from everything else like my Legendary Treasures, Evolutions, Dragon Majesty, all these cards. Look at that, that's a nice Mewtwo from X, uh, from Black and White. That's from, yeah, Legendary Treasures, Black and White. So uh, Evolutions will go into its own pile. Uh, we've got some more Japanese cards here. It's actually really good. She sleeves their cards. Don't forget, guys. I did forget to say in the beginning, you'll need some sleeves in case you've got some rare ones. So also, grab your sleeves. Um, you've got holo promo cards. I tend to put them with the uh, holo par. We'll put that in its own separate thing. Once again, here we've got some three Shining Legends cards. I put them in their own tin. Some people just bulk them up with their regular reverses. Well, that's a rare reverse, we'll put that there. So we can put them in their own reverse pile. Reverses tend to go for like 10 to 12 and a half P. I'm not sure how much they are in America. Sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's more expensive and depending where your country's from, uh, where your country is from, where you are in the country. Uh, everything is different. Let's see what else she has got. She just got a, a random bag of cards. I Oh, looks like some playable cards. What also you can do is, there's just so many ways you can sew out your cards. We've got Behiem. So Behiem is an actual playable card. It's used in uh, the standard format in the TCG for those who play competitively. So I put all my, even though it's a rare card, I put all playable cards in its own pile as well. So everything gets its own pile. Um, these, these are rubbish, these are just bulk. Bolt gets their own pile, and I've just got tons and tons of piles lying around. Well, not anymore, but when I'm sorting out my cards. So all these cards are useless. Energy, useless, useless, useless. Making sure at the same time, always check the bottom corner of your card. As you can see, there's set symbols, where you can divide them by set. And there's set, um, what are they called? And there's common rarity symbols. There we go, we've got rarity symbols as well. So make sure all your commons and uncommons are going into one pile. Make sure all your 
uh, rares. If you collect Pikachus, put your Pikachu pile, uh, your reverses go into the right pile. And it's always good to check them over. You don't want to like mix them up a bit. I've done that before. I've had to go over whole sets. Also, if you get some co-cards, there you go, guys. A free co-card for you lucky person if you're watching. <laughs> um, put your co-cards in a separate pile as well. You don't want to get them mixed up. Once again, your rares go into the rare pile. I've, I've already mixed it all up. I don't know if I've got a rare pile. Rare pile, now we do. So, I, I feel like I'm talking a lot of gibberish and rambling. I hope you're understanding. But as you can see, we've got lots of different piles. We've got an evolutions pile. We've got a bolt pile, rare pile, hollow pile, reverse rare pile. Oops, that's in the wrong pile. See, don't want to get them mixed up. You've got the regular reverse pile. And then we've got a playable pile. We've got just more hollows. We'll, put, we'll even put that in the hollow pile. They've got trainers over there, stadiums over there, supporters over there. And this is exactly what you want to do with our energies way over there in the corner, which we just, we don't need. We don't, we don't need energies. We do need energies if you're playing, but you can just separate them all off. And then this is what I do. Just separate them all into their own bits. Oh, that's, oh, that's not the good Victini. Once again, nice Victini. People like Victinis, put them in the rare, in the reverse rare pile. And that's exactly what you want to do. So once you've got all your cards sorted out, hopefully a bit neater than what I've done, you're going to get that empty tin, you're going to get that mask and tape. Very important to use mask and tape because it's, it's easy to like get off the tins if you want to reuse the tins for other purposes. And also you can write on it and you're going to get that marker and you're going to just name what you're going to call that tin. So I'm going to call this tin reverses because we're going to put reverses in this tin. <laughs> very easy and uh, we're gonna capitalize it as well. So it's nice, easy, clear. You'll know what's inside. Take it off. I think I wrote on the tin, sorry. <laughs> sorry, my friend. And we're gonna put all our reverses in there. Oh, those are actually the reverse rares. We're gonna put the actual reverses in there. And we do have a separate tin for reverse rares. And I'll show you an example in a second. Right, so here are some examples that are part of my collection. So I've got all my rare cards in a tin. Uh, we've got our reverse trainers. I, put, I even separate my reverse trainers. So we don't put the reverse trainers with the regular Pokemon cards. We've got them in their own tin. Uh, we've, got our, we've got our ST items. So ST stands for standard. This is the standard format. I play the TCG. So I'm going to put all the item cards that I showed you before. Like Lana's Fishing Rod and whatever. All these item cards, we're going to put them in its own tin. So I know exactly where to go where I want to find the certain cards. Like I said, sometimes you can be even more... You can just get folders and put cards in orders. That is up to you, but I prefer using tins. We've even got a tin just showing our standard Pokemon cards. So all these are just standard, regular Pokemon cards that I think will be good for the standard format. Cards like Cragsire, cards like Naganadel, all these just good Pokemon cards. And here we go. We've got a tin that has just hollows in. We've got a lot of hollows. I need to actually get rid of some of my stuff. And then here we go. Another tin with just supporters. I feel like I'm doing an art attack. And it is something that we worked on earlier. <laughs> That's pretty much exactly what it is. So I put SUPS because I'm lazy. But I know SUPS stands for supporters. And let's, you know what? Before we end this, I, I oh my God. Everything almost just fell to the floor. <laughs> Before we end this, let's take a look at what my friend has in her rare box. She said all her rare cards are in this box and oh, got some hidden fates. So what we do for this, to sort out your ultra rare cards, this is exactly what you do. Um, hollow energies, they're actually worth a bit. So if you've got any hollow energies, they're definitely worth partnering up with just like uh, GX cards. Uh, you can put them in their own little, just their own little tin if you want. But um, what I do is I look through all my GX cards. I'll be like, right, Persian GX, that's actually a playable card. So I'll put that in its own playable pile. Uh, Genesect GX, nope, not really. And I actually put all my Hidden Fates uh, rare cards, all my hollows and stuff, all these sort of ones in their own pile. Uh, I've got some more Japanese cards. We've got some rainbows. We've got Japanese card rainbow. So all these uh, non-playable cards that I don't want, they will go into its own pile. I just don't want them, so I'm just gonna sell them whenever I feel like. Because <laughs> you know, I'm just really lazy. Got a hollow cards once again. Uh, hollows and reverse trainers. They all go in their own pile. Wiggly tough, useless. Japanese cards. God, you do like collecting your Japanese cards. That goes in the hidden fates. Pins are useless. Uh, what else have we got? Jesse and James Boswell. Very good in the old format. 
I'll actually have that separate because someday it might be playable in expanded so that will go in its own playable part. I'll actually put everything expanded. So in the standard format and expanded format, I'll put everything that's in the expanded format in its own tin as well. So I do really make sure to separate the cards. Supporters, full art supporters, once again, another tin, another one. Oh, you've got a clay. We don't even have that card in English, awesome. Um, gold stadiums, what would I even do my gold stadiums? I'd put that in my, probably my stadium part. I'll just have that in a sleeve with my stadiums uh, because Brooklyn Hill is playable but that's expanded. I'll have it in its own little box. And then we'll just uh, keep going through all our cards and we'll separate the playable ones. That was playable in the old format and the non-playable ones. And then there we go. That is everything I do. So let's think. The, the rundown on what, how I sort out my Pokemon cards is... I have commons and uncommons together, they all go inside a big cardboard box. Commons and uncommons in the box, then we've got our commons and reverse uncommons in tins. Then we've got all our rares in a tin, we've got all our reverse rares in another tin, we've got our hollows in another tin, we've got our playable GXs in one pile, we've got our playable, uh, our non-playable GXs in another pile, that's going to be like the sell or to trade pile, we put all those inside the folder so you can go and show off to your friends and be like, hey I'll trade you my rubbish cards for your good cards. <laughs> no, don't do that, don't rip off your friends. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. And then we've got our playable expanded cards in another pile. Or if you don't want to have like, if you don't play the game, these can just all be in your trade folder. They can all just go in your trade folder. But what I do, I have everything separated. If you've got Hidden Fates cards or Shining Legends, if these are evolutions, if you've got evolution cards, put those in their own tin. They are worth that little bit more, but if you don't really care about pennies per card, sometimes it can be quite a big difference. A Hitmonchan Hollow is worth more than a regular Hollow you'll get from a normal set, just because it reminds people of the good old days of the base set. So once again, special sets, you'll know if there's a special set if it doesn't come in a proper product box, like uh, Cosmic Eclipse. Hidden Fates didn't have a box, it came in special boxes, same with Dragon's Majesty and shining legends so i have all those in different tins and that is exactly how i do it so thank you very much for watching i hope this was useful i think i probably rambled on a lot about it but i wanted to give you guys as much detail as possible as for japanese cards i don't think i actually hit upon japanese cards it, it, it's the same thing it's very hard to determine what japanese cards are good or not it's it's kind of the same in uh, in the Western world where they use the same sort of cards. I just put them all together. The hollows I separate, the GXs, the secrets, I all separate them. But all the other cards I just stack together. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you find it helpful, if you found it useful, please feel free to give it a like. And if you're new here, please feel free to subscribe and check out my other videos. I hope you guys did enjoy it and let me know if you actually want a therapeutic if you want me to just sort out all these cards in a video uh, i might just do an unedited sorting out all the videos or i might even sort them out live do a youtube live uh, just let me know in the comments below if that is something you would like to see and i'll, I'll, I'll definitely do it i will sort all these cards out for you guys and we can have a nice chat about it while we do so thank you again very much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video <laughs> i've got so much to tidy up